are just outside our boat shop and good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviska. It's great to have you back around the boat repair kind of world. And what I have right behind us is the Taco Marine Project boat. And this vessel has been at a fiberglass repair facility for the past three months. They've been taking care of a lot of down below deck issues. And kind of, if, if you were to take a look at our splash well in some different areas on the pursuit, the fiberglass man kind of left some exposed structural fiberglass in that splash well. And we definitely need to use some type of a putty to cover it over. And who we have first on the program is Jeff Hargrove. And Jeff is with a company called Fiberglass Coatings. And literally anything you need to either build or repair a fiberglass boat, you guys have. Correct. And Jeff, we need some type of a putty. It's above the water line, that, that mm -hmm. splash well. But I need it to uh, not only cover over the structural glass, hide it, but it needs to be easily sandable. And event we're going to be painting this boat today on the show. So I've got to get this vessel ready. Right. What do we use? We're going to use our OEM Super Polyfill. It's a great putty for fairing. It sands real easy. And it's going to give you some structural application. And then on top of it all, you can paint right over top of it. Is, is there any other... Um, uh, putties that, that are even easier to sand over top of that if you're doing some micro work. If you had some micro scratches or some smaller scratches you wanted to get out, you could use our gel coat putty. You can put that on again. It's extremely easy to sand and then you can paint over that. Now guys, if you're going to be doing any type of putty work down below the water line, if the vessel is going to be staying in the water right. permanently, okay? If you're going to be finishing your repair with gel coat, you definitely want to use below the water line a vinyl lester putty. Now, if you're going to be bottom painting down below the water line, you want to use what, Jeff? You're going to use our epoxy trial on putty. You're going to use a putty that's resistant to osmotic blistering. It's going to make a permanent repair underneath the water line. John, you were telling us that you can actually paint a hull bottom with paint. What's unique about your kit is there's no sanding, there's no priming. You just roll on the paint. Okay, and you can see for yourself, if you look at the hull sides, it, it, it came out absolutely amazing. If the boat's running through the water, should we do something else rather than just roll it on? We want to make sure that we have good adhesion. Should we use any type of a primer? Definitely at least use our two-part sealer. Okay, this is a clear primer sealer. Right. Can we roll it on? Can we spray it on? You can do either. Okay. Um, how long do we need to wait before we sand? And I, uh, you don't need to sand. We don't, we don't need to sand. Okay, no. this, is, this is great. But wait an hour, right. and then we can start rolling on the paint. Correct. Here's my question. We have two jack stands, and a lot of people are going to be doing that if they're painting their hull bottom. They're going to have the boat supported up in the air. We're going to have to paint around those. And we'll let the paint cure, and we're going to have to move them, but we're going to have to paint where the heads of the jack stands were. And sometimes you get a line there, like all the time you will get a line there. How can You said this is a blendable paint. How can we get that out of there? Very easily. You would just start with wet sanding with 1500, uh, and then you would follow with a buffer using a wool pad, right. using a, a 3M marine compound or a Ferrecla Profile 300, and follow by a finishing compound. Okay, and here's the result, guys. You're, you're, you're seeing this is, this is amazing. We have another project boat that uh, doesn't belong to us. It belongs to the folks at Taco Marine. It's the Taco Marine project boat that's going to charity. They requested your paint. However, they wanted it sprayed on, not rolled on. Can you use quantum paint in a professional application like that? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Um, the hull's in pretty decent shape. I don't see any spider cracks. I, I see everything. We did a lot of repairs with gel coat before, but I, I really want whoever is going to be winding up with this boat to get a beautiful foundation, even though eventually we're going to be putting a wrap on the boat. But um, should we use that clear sealer again? Yes, as long as the hole's in good shape, you don't need to prime, you can clear seal it. And we can be painting within an hour. And guys, here's where we started with the boat. Here's where we finished. If somebody is a professional painter, maybe at a, a marine yard, okay, a boat yard, um, do you discount the, the, the product for wholesalers? Yes, we do offer a wholesale account. If you go to quantumpaint.com, click on wholesale, uh, you can sign up at that spot there. Okay, and don't forget guys, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, they do have the kits that paint boats up to 28 feet. 